The 20 000 marigolds were blooming at just the right time. They had to be picked and sold in five days, to beam their orange glory from Dia de Muertos altars across Southern California. Zeferino Garcia and a crew of eight men had been working under automobile high beams and halogen lights since 3 a.m. Friday, pulling each five-foot-tall marigold plant from its base, cutting it with a curved, serrated knife, then placing the stalks on the ground in bunches. They angled themselves to avoid tumbling down the slope where the marigolds clustered tightly, resembling an immense, flattened Home Depot bucket. At Garcia's five-acre farm, Mirancho Conejo, cradled in the hills near Moore Park, they also were harvesting 20, 000 crested agallo, coxcomb, in colors ranging from deep scarlet to wispy pink, for the holiday. The men were working for free in a mutual aid arrangement called Gazona from their native region of Sierra de Juarez in Oaxaca, Mexico. Once the sun rose, Garcia logged on to Facebook Live. A wonderful beauty, these marigold flowers, he said in Spanish. He had taken off a puffy jacket to show off his camisa Oaxaqueña, a long-sleeved shirt with intricate designs on the front pleats. In a short time, you'll be able to buy them at our stores. Garcia repeated the spiel in his native Zapotec. Then someone shouted, Coffee, boys! They gathered around a table to pour themselves cinnamon-laced café de ala, unwrap mole negro tamales and snack on Anna's scented panda muerto for dessert. Seeing these flowers, we remember our ancestors, said Florentino Ambrosio, 65, a retired teacher who helped with the harvest but also took. He explained that the flower's Spanish name, Sempasuchl, comes from a Nahuatl phrase meaning 20 petals, referring to its brilliance. Its smell, he said, is supposed to guide the departed back to the living, if only for a day. Garcia first knew marigolds as Shkua, their name in the Zapotec dialect of his native San Francisco Yeti, a village high up in the Sierra de Juarez. The nearest place to buy them was Oaxaca's capital, a bumpy 13-hour bus ride through narrow mountain roads that left you with welts on your head, he recalled.